Hi there, and welcome back. So in this video, we are going to cover how to export and import data in and out of Hunchly. How we do this is through this handy export menu, and we have a couple of options. So we have a full case export, which is exactly as it sounds. It takes everything in your case, zips it all up, puts it in a folder, and this is how you will then import data back into Hunchly in the future. So if you want to make a full case archive or you need to produce a full case for evidence, this is exactly what you want to use. It's very simple. So you can select, for example, we're going to call this unassigned.zip. We're going to save it to our desktop and I'll just show you what it looks like inside of the export. Cool. So it's all done. And of course, the larger your case, the longer it's going to take for you to export that data. So inside of this folder, we have a few things. We have all of our case attachments. So this was our uh, docx file that we downloaded. We have our raw case data. So there's a few things in here. There's a bunch of JSON files and CSV files. So the CSV files are actually useful if you're going to push Hunchly data into a different tool, like an e-discovery tool, for example. These CSV files are the metadata that describe in human readable format your photos, tagged photos, pages and attachments. So this is really useful. You can go in and actually look at all of the hashes and everything else. So that's something that might be of uh, use for you. We have the note screenshots pages, which are all of the raw pages in here. You can see them. Perfect. Photos. These are the photos that were extracted. So these are not your tagged photos, but these are any photo that you encountered while you were browsing in that particular case. And of course your tagged photos here. So that's what a full case export looks like. Very straightforward, nothing too surprising there. Now, if we go back, we can actually do what's called a selective export. So this is slightly different. You get to kind of pick and choose what stuff you want to put in the zip file. And this is something that we're always building options into. So please, if there's something that you're looking for that's not there, let us know. So how do we add some case content? Well, we can add pages, all pages. We can add pages just marked important. We can say, I only want the pages I tagged with social media. I only want the tagged photos that I did. Um, I want notes and screenshots in CSV or in a PDF and maybe my case attachments. So I'm going to say notes, screenshots and CSV. And then you can see the elements of the export here. And then we can always just click to delete them if we don't want a particular element. So when we click export again, we'll go into our desktop. We're going to go selective.zip so we can see the difference and the export's done already. Perfect, so let's just take a quick look at what's inside. And you can see it's just the stuff that we wanted to export. So it's just the specific things we were looking for. Again, this might be useful if you're building up an evidence uh, package for court or you wanna deliver something to a client but you don't wanna include all of the pages and all of the raw case data, this is a nice option for you. So how do we import data back in to Hunchly? Very easy. We click this add import new case. We select import case. We have a couple of options. So we can bring in an exported case as a brand new case. So we can say, okay, I want to create a new case called just an import. Or we can add it to an existing case. So you can pick from a list of your existing cases and it will import and merge all of the data together. Okay, so these are very straightforward. Grab the zip file. So in this case, remember, you need to use the full case, not the selective export. We're going to go import. Just takes a moment. And again, the larger your case, the longer it's going to take to do this import. And if there are any errors, it will tell you that there's an error and it will show up in your Hunchly log file. So now we should have just an import, which we do. And we have all the same pages and all the same data that was brought in from our unassigned export. So that's it. Very simple, very easy to use. Very nice way to move data in and out of Hunchly. And if you have any questions or you run into any problems, please send us an email support at hunch.ly.